We're going straight into The Guardian. And what's this about the war on drugs? I thought that was the 80s. What's this? Yeah, so US states get tough with war on drugs era laws to tackle uh, fentanyl crisis. So ah. fentanyl uh, is killing a huge amount of people yes. in America, 70,000 a year. Uh, I believe last month they captured enough of the drug to actually kill everyone in America. And, um, and it's not get, it hasn't previously been getting that much attention, uh, but it, it's uh, because what's happening is the drug cartels, Mexican mostly, are sort of cutting, it makes cocaine and various other drugs stronger. Yes. Um, but it, you can OD because it's so powerful. Uh. So now they're implementing these laws, like anybody who dealt it, smelt it, um, and basically is going to jail as well. But that, the thing about this is these war on drugs that are in their, its various iterations, it never mm. seems to get anywhere. Well, Ever. that's exactly... Well, we don't know how many drugs we'd be taking if there wasn't a war on drugs, Andrew. You, you might have we, to limit your intake. I see. So there were, it might be even more intake. Well, people, yeah. people are criticising who it's attacking because just like... And it proved that just getting the, the, the street dealers... And in this case, it's not even dealers. It's like yeah. someone getting doing it with their friend and then yes. th their friend ODs and they survive. It's, you've got to go for the actual source, which well, exactly. is these Mexican cartels. But it's, uh, it's not just the Mexican cartels. I mean, the, the Mexico has been made a, a, a whipping boy for, for, the, for this fentanyl crisis, but the, the precursor chemicals are coming from China. Right. And China is deliberately sending these, these chemicals, used to send them direct to America. They're, they want to weaken America. This is a, mm. a soft war, and this is killing. I mean, this is killing hundreds of thousands so of is people. So is there not a case for sort of decriminalisation or going... Oh, you know, making it effectively, other... effectively wiping out the drug trade by saying that, well, we can provide it legally. Well, they, they've already got that with OxyContin and other opiates. Mm. I mean, really, uh, America just has this uh, culture of taking lots of opiates. Right. I mean, you, you can get um, OxyContin and other, other types of uh, legal opiates quite, quite easily from pharmacies. Right. So there's another further slightly uh, interesting angle, which is that Republicans are now talking about attacking Mexico yeah. directly and right. that could have big ramifications. But militarily. Yeah, militarily. Really? Like, like, yeah, saying, seeing them as terrorists, drug dealers now as actual terrorists, and going in, then certainly parts of Mexico... But it's not as though the drug dealers are sanctioned by the Mexican government. No, well, that's the thing, it runs so deep. If you've seen Narcos... <laughs> oh, I haven't. I've seen Breaking Bad, so I know... OK, well, it does go to that level. Right. And also there are parts of Mexico which the, the government just isn't part of anymore. Yeah. OK, well, sticking with...